Hi everyone, my name is Susan Voskel Starsevich, and I wanted to do a quick shout out to Amanda for nominating me to do this. I have had such a fun time looking at old pictures and just kind of reminiscing about my time in Athens and in Greece. So thank you so much, Amanda, for letting me, for giving me the opportunity to do this. Um, I attended the College Year in Athens program from January to May of 2009. So 12 years ago now, which is kind of crazy to think about. At the time, I was a junior at Hope College in Holland, Michigan. I ended up choosing the College Year in Athens program because it just kind of ticked off a lot of the, the bots boxes that I wanted. Um, I'm a, I was a history major, and so I wanted to go somewhere that had a really rich history, which, you know, doesn't really narrow down <laughs> in, in the, in the wide, great wide world of things. Um, but I also wanted to go somewhere that I could be really out of my comfort zone. So I wanted to go where um, English wasn't spoken or, or it was a different language than what I was used to. And uh, when I was kind of looking at the options that were uh, from my school, I Greece was on there and this program was on there too. And I kind of thought, oh, well, that doesn't even have the same or Greek doesn't even have the same alphabet that I'm used to. So maybe that might be a good option. And when I kind of looked into the the costs and everything related to this program, this was just the, the program that really fit everything that I was looking for. And so I chose the college year in Athens program. And I am so thankful that I did because I just had the most amazing experience. When I was with the College Year in Athens program, I was involved in a lot of different things. I remember doing like dance lessons, and I think even on the very first weekend, we were given the opportunity to go um, like plant trees. There had been a wildfire, and so they uh, gave us a chance to go and do a, a restoration project. And myself and some of my roommates uh, went and did that. And uh, just like getting to do things with my roommates was one of my favorite things. I remember I had just ugh, incredible roommates who, again, looking at these pictures and letting me reminisce, oh man, I just, it, what a wonderful time. Um, I know I also, when I was in this program, I had an internship at the Cycladic Art Museum, which I think is just this hidden gem in Athens. If you get a chance, definitely go there. It's not one of the bigger museums, so I don't think a lot of people do. But I remember having this internship and um, I, had, I had this moment, I still think about it, where I was helping to install an exhibit and I was holding this 2000 year old vase in my hands. And I was kind of thinking, I don't know if this is best practices. Should I just be holding it like this? I'm in an elevator. And then I was thinking, I'm holding something that's 2000 years old. You know, such a thing doesn't exist in American history. This is incredible. What an opportunity. You need to really remember this moment. And, and I still do. I talked about it when I, um, when I was graduating, actually, from college, that that was just this like, really pivotal moment for me that um, made me like solidify that I wanted to work in museums and I wanted to work with artifacts. I wanted to do things and I am working in a museum, but not, uh, not in the way that maybe at the time I thought I would be. So a place that is special to me in Athens would definitely be that museum. I, like I said, if you get a chance, check it out. Um, but I know that just, uh, I, I had such amazing roommates and getting to go anywhere in Athens, that made a, that's what made it special to me is all, all these different places was kind of the people that I was with and experiencing this incredible journey with. Um, I know though, one of the places uh, that I always enjoyed was Syntagma Square. It's a busy place and it is like where all the transportation was going in and out. I'm sure it's changed in the 12 years since I've been there. Um, but at the time, I just loved uh, going there and um, there's shopping nearby. I could also watch the changing of the guard. I got to do all these different things and uh, I just kind of loved the bustle and, and feeling like I was getting to see, you know, um, a glimpse into the the Greek life that maybe I was sheltered from by being in the program and and that was just one of those things that like felt really like that's where where people went that was something that um was like really real I guess to me was Syntagma Square and and I and I just loved that what 
have I been doing since the college year in Athens program? Oh my goodness, it's been 12 years. There's been a lot. <laughs> uh, I went to grad school after college. I took a, a few years off of school and um, worked a little bit and went to grad school. I moved to North Carolina for a little bit. I lived in Death Valley, California for a little bit. Um, I worked at a forest preserve in Illinois before coming to California. And I worked at a contemporary art center. And now I am the uh, education director at the Sacramento History Museum in Sacramento, California. I also got married. I had a child. <laughs> I, I did a lot of things in the last 12 years. Um, but it all did kind of start in, in Athens. And with that internship, with knowing that I wanted to work in museums. And so I've kind of been going on that journey for this, this whole time. Um, I know that studying abroad, like, just made me braver, I think, as a person. At the end of my study abroad experience, my dad got very sick. And so when I returned home, the sort of family life that I had been used to before I left for this program, I came home to a very different experience. And if I hadn't had this opportunity to study abroad and to be independent and learn how to just, like, take care of myself and to do these and to, like, be brave and fearless and know that I, I can get myself into or out of whatever situation. Um, I think it would have been really difficult for me otherwise. So studying abroad and putting myself in a situation that I knew I would be completely uncomfortable with, at least to start with, just was this incredible, incredibly growing experience for me, right? It's just like uh, learning how to be that fearless, brave person that has led me through my entire adult life so far. So um, yeah, I highly suggest going to a program that, you know, gives you the opportunity to do those things. So something that every college year in Athens student should do before they leave Greece. I would take advantage of every single opportunity that comes your way. There wasn't a single weekend that I just kind of sat around and did nothing. I visited Istanbul. I went to different islands. I I mean, you got to take advantage of the of where you are geographically and get to see the country and, and get to meet the people. So definitely before you leave Athens or Greece, you know, go to different cities, see what it's like <laughs> and travel around and learn how to be that independent, independent person, learn how to be that fearless person that, you know, is going to help guide you for the rest of your life. Um, so yeah, I, I just want to thank Amanda again for giving me the opportunity to reminisce and to think about what, um, you know, that, that, study abroad experience really meant to me because it's really been this really formative thing. So thank you College Year in Athens too for letting me do this. And if anybody ever is in Sacramento or ever needs, you know, career advice or anything like that, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I would love to chat and talk about history.